Oh, you just got zeroed. Your city is burning. You've lost a lot of troops. Your power is down. What do you do next? And has this ever happened to you? I want to know. Today in this video, we're going to give you guys some advice of what you can do when you get burned and nipped in the butt because you are going to be so in a distress mode and you're going to be panicking and you don't know what to do. How can I farm and what am I going to do next? When you get zeroed, it's really challenging. It's hard because I've experienced it. I've been zeroed before and I've recovered from it and I know you will also recover from it. So we're going to give you five tips here so that you can recover and get back into your game and continue playing Rise of Kingdoms. Now, before we get started with the tips, I do hope that you have watched my other tip videos where I've mentioned a long time ago that you should never, ever, ever use your tokens, right? Because when you use your tokens, these becomes pillageable. So if you've you know, you've used your tokens and you're sitting on your resources mainly from your tokens, then you are screwed because you're going to be having a hard time recovering from getting zeroed. So my tip number one here is that once you got zeroed, you finished the process of it, you've gone through the denial, you look into your phone, you looked at it and you're like, no, I did not get zeroed. No, it did not happen. And then you, you come into the stage where you accept it, that you came into it and like, oh man, yeah, okay, I really messed up. It's my fault. I got zeroed. I messed up. Then what you got to do is you want to get back into the game. You need to start farming. And then you realize when you send out your farm, you don't have any troops. You ran out of troops. So the thing that you need to do is then start training T1 units. Training your T1 units is relatively cheap and easy to make and quick. So if you are struggling on farming because you don't have troops just start producing t1 units and then later on if you want to get rid of your t1 units you can always upgrade your t1 units you don't gotta get rid of it you just upgrade it now having a t1 siege units will be very beneficial for you to farm resources because it will have greater load so whenever you go into the resource mines or even the alliance resource it will you know benefit you a lot by doing so so tip number one is relatively simple it's easy to get your recovery process started make t1 units start gathering resources and then start producing the next tier of troops that you need to do the best thing to do is really make T1 siege and then still continue to produce whatever tier of units you have with your infantry, cavalry, and archer. If you have T4 already or T5 in there, then start making T4 and T5 infantry, cavs, and archers, except for your siege unit. Now, if you're really struggling and you need quick, um, you know, you need something like quick to farm uh, besides you know siege units then you can do a t1 infantry because infantry is the next one to have the greater load so you can do that and then you can always upgrade a t1 unit into something else you know whether t3 or whatever your status is of course if it's your t4 you're going to go to t4 from t1 to t4 or t1 to t5 tip number two this is something that you shouldn't always do all the time but in the you know worst case scenario you can definitely do it I'm sure everyone is going to understand the situation that you are in. Now, this is not something that I would always recommend to everyone, only in this certain circumstances. You will have to beg, right? You will have to ask, seek help from your alliance. So I do hope that by this time that you're playing, before you even got zeroed, is that you already have a team. You're already part of an alliance. Ask for help. Tell your alliance members you messed up. Tell your R4, tell your leadership, hey, I messed up, all right? I got zeroed, or somebody was hunting me, somebody was bullying me, and I got zeroed, I need help. 
get help from your alliance because you know they will have the resources that you need to get back on your feet. Now, another thing that I want to say is that you should be stacking up on your speed ups as well, right? Your training speed ups and as well as in your healing speed ups, which I don't really have much healing speed ups in here. So you need to be stacking up on that. So the best thing that you can do is consume all these emergency supplies after you've asked help, when you've got, you know, resources, when you've combined, you know, tip number one and tip number two together, you'll have what you need, then you can start producing troops and you can get back on your feet, right? Being an alliance as well is that whoever zeroed you, your alliance can also, you know, take revenge, right? The alliance can help you take that revenge. Now, if this is a KVK scenario, which we are in, it might be a little bit difficult, but if it was in a home kingdom, you and your alliance can definitely destroy who zeroed you. Tip number three. Now, this should have been a normal for you already that you should have already known. Um, create farm accounts. So if you don't know how to create farm accounts, you go to the settings, you go to character management, and then you just click create new character. So as you can see, I have two farms in here in 1412. So for you to be successful within the game, you really need farm accounts because resources is crucial. So when you get zeroed, you're not going to have a lot of resources, right? But if you have farm accounts, if you got zeroed, you can supply yourself with resources. Once you've done that, you, all, you need then by, all you need by then is speed ups. And um, you should be able to get going and start producing troops again and get back on your feet and start gathering resources on your own. And then eventually you can fight again in the battle. All right. And um, by allowing yourself to have resources and speed ups, right, you're, you can mass produce your troops quickly. What's going to happen with this is that you can also start grinding barbarians. So because when you get zeroed, you have literally not, not much troops. Even fighting barbarians is going to be very difficult for you, right? And doing other events that requires you to use your troops. So getting back on your feet quickly as possible in this video is definitely crucial for you, right? So we're trying to give you all these tips. If you appreciate the tips, if you enjoy these tips, if you like it, and you think it's have helped you or is going to help you within the game, consider subscribing to the channel if you have not done so. And of course, press like onto the video that does really help and let me know the status of your gaming at this moment have you ever been zeroed or are you afraid of getting zeroed what, is, what do you feel about getting zeroed and losing all your troops all your hard work gone just imagine that so don't get zeroed but if it does you have this tip to guide you now tip number four if you are in kvk which we are in all right we're in kvk um, the best thing that I can give you advice is teleport into a safe zone, all right? Don't get zeroed, all right? Or if you get zeroed, go into safe zone. This is where you recover. So, you know, get into the safe zone by going into your alliance uh, territory. In your alliance territory within KVK, you cannot get rallied. You cannot get attack on your base. So that is what I call safe zone, all right? So that's very important. And if you need to... Um, if you feel like weary, if you feel like you're not sure where you're at or, um, you know, you just feel like you might get wrecked, then I would highly suggest is to use some peace shield. Now, um, where can you get peace shield? The simplest way for you to get peace shield is go to the shop. You can go to boost and then you can see that you will have various amounts of peace shields in here that will help you not get wrecked. All right. So if you are not even in the alliance territory in KVK, you are in the enemy's territory, you're in the new, you are in the neutral territory. All right. If you're in the neutral territory, you definitely need to use peace shield. The best advice I would tell you is that teleport instead of using peace shield. I almost got wrecked recently because of my stubbornness as well. Um, so just teleport in the safe zone and go back into battle whenever you want to instead on buying you know peace shield now if you're in a home kingdom you definitely need to use peace shield if somebody is bullying you somebody is trying to wreck you you need peace shield for that situation all right but like i said get into an alliance and hopefully the bullies will you know not mess with you because you'll have a team and you'll have an alliance another thing that i forgot to mention is that you can actually buy your peace shields on the shop as well in the alliance shop and as you can see, it's actually empty for us right now. Uh, but you can go here. You can request from your leadership. 
and hey, you know, drop some eight-hour P shield, please, and you know they can drop this, and then you can make that purchase here in the Alliance shop. Tip number five is to stock up on shields and teleports. So you can get some of these stuff from like magic chests. Let's see if we get some today. Nope. But you get some in magic chests um, once in a while if you have a lot of that to open. Um, get that from there. You really need to stack up in here. So as you can see, I've stocked up like 153 um, eight hour peace shield. I have 124 hour. The eight hours you can get it. Um, I don't really remember on what events I got most of it, but I know in ma the magic box you do get some. And uh, just really, this is very important is to stack up on your um, peace shield. And then teleportation uh, is very important because you need to move around, right? And if you get wrecked, if you get wrecked, you need to move around so that they can't find you, right? So you can either do a random teleport in the early stage of the game, so it'll, you'll you'll just be out of the vision of the enemy, or you can teleport within your alliance um, hive, and uh, that should protect you and prevent any players to zero you. And if you've been zeroed already, then just teleporting and farming and just having that peace of mind, right? So if you guys zeroed in KVK, like I said, go to your um, safe territory. You can start farming in that area. So that's pretty much some of the tips that we got in here. Just remember, when you get zeroed, it's not the end of the day. Don't panic. You'll be able to recover. You're not the only one who has been zeroed in the game. There's other players who have been zeroed also. So just stay calm. Do the tips that we've suggested in here. You're going to recover. Make your T1s. Slowly gather. Use your tokens. And learn from your mistake. But besides that, I think we've given you all the information in here for you to recover. And I think you'll do fine. Like I said, don't panic. Seek some comfort. Talk to your friends. Because sometimes when you get zeroed, it sucks. right? It hurts. But it's just a game at the end of the day. If you're alive... You're going to be able to recover. Anyway, Rockers, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe.